my lights are out. We had that winter storm and stuff. I was off work for a week. I missed a uh, whole week of work. Got a check. It was like $450. That's like half a check. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Um, my insurance lap for the car. I paid my car note. I meant to call the uh, electric company, but I didn't. And then when I came home like Friday, about five or something, the lights was out. I called them, asked them how much I uh, had to pay. They told me $272. I gave them like $273. Lights uh, came back on within an hour and stuff, like the lady said. It will happen. And I came home today, Saturday, around the same time. And my lights are out. Which means they're going to be out tomorrow too. Unless I pay them some more money. I got some money on me. I got a little bit of money in the bank. Monday, uh, I got to pay. Cash Net USA. And I got to pay my uh, car note. I just switched jobs and stuff. The I wasn't happy at the, with the job that I had. I was happy with the, the money and stuff, but I wasn't happy with my coworkers. I wasn't happy with my boss. The re- I didn't I didn't didn't trust her. The relationship was just destroyed. So I switched jobs. I was going to try to work both and stuff. I told them I wanted to be part-time. They hired me part-time, and they got me working six days a week. I'm thinking I'll come in at 10 o'clock. I'll probably work five hours. I'm coming in there, and I'm working eight hours. They didn't tell me this. You know, they they ain't thinking about, you know, when am I going to sleep? If I'm working 9.45 to about 5, 5.30, uh, downtown Memphis and then coming down here to the other side which is about 15 minutes away uh, uh, working uh, like uh, 9 o'clock to probably about 5 maybe 6 o'clock you know people be late to work and shit so shit come up 5 6 o'clock in the morning well, when am I supposed to sleep if I'm working at full time and then I'm working the other job full time and stuff? Or when do I sleep? Just don't know how upset I am. I'm facing an eviction. I got to go sign a new lease. I don't know how that's going to work out. That shit got me. I, I, I think about that shit and I'm like, I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. Don't I have to make so much money to sign a new lease? I can't they be like, well, you don't make enough money to stay here anymore. Get the fuck out or whatever. You know, who? Uh, I don't want to talk to them about it and ask them, but I'm going to have to go over there because they got this rental assistant program. They told me about in the building, but they took me to court and stuff. And before they took me to court, I got this letter in the mail from these folks. I tried calling them to see if it was real and stuff. Because I'm like, why would they take me to court for this balance on this? And that's, that's not the balance because I was two months behind, you know, for the long time. Memphis took good care of me, but this is this, this is stressing me out. The unemployment was supposed to last a year. It didn't last a year. It ran out in like November, and I was just like, I'm, I was kind of fed up with it and stuff. I thought that uh, I would be taken care of, but that six months 
with like no uh no uh money and stuff was like hard on me. You know, cause before this COVID hit, I was make I was bring home checks. They'd be like two thousand dollars, and then I had like money in my pocket and stuff from tips. Uh, checks would be, I think, sometimes they'll be as low as like six hundred. But then I've been I made like a lot of tips. It was good money. It was enough for me to uh, get this apartment and stay here up until you know last year. Sometime it was enough for me to get a car and keep that car. You know. When I'm working, uh, it's getting back to work and stuff. Oh, what's that? Uh, I don't know what to say. The light's going to be out for the weekend, I guess. I could be working this job. I could be still at work with them, helping them out and stuff, trying to make as much money as possible. But I'm going to have to make another video and explain the reason why I don't. I had my old boss from... uh, the job I had I had before COVID nineteen called me and tell me I mean asked me to go help him out at this place. I walked in there, it was like fine dining, and like five star I think. He's supposed to call me yesterday. I text him like uh telling him that I took this Thursday off. I had explained to him that I just started this job, but I would like to come over there and help him out. And I think that that would help me out too. I have to ask them if I would be making enough money that I could actually maintain the life, you know, that I that I've had down here. Uh, I think uh, while I was talking to him, he was like, um, "Well, don't quit your job." I'm like, "I'm not gonna quit my job." I mean, the minute I signed a W four for him, he's like, "Maybe you keep two jobs, you know, see if you like it here while you're here." Um, I'm like, "That's not gonna work out because they got me six days a week when I was put, when I applied and I put part time, and they got me uh, they got me uh, from nine forty five every damn day." To about five o'clock, five thirty, something like that. And uh, this job that my old boss work at is uh, starts at four thirty to like nine thirty. That's when I, everything open up. But uh, if you like prepping and stuff, you probably have to be there. He's like, he could be here at two o'clock or something. He's like, maybe you could work something out with them. And I'm like, well, how can I work something out with the people that? Uh, I told I wanted to be part time because I wanted to work both jobs. You know, how could I work something out with them after initially telling them that I wanted to be there part time and they got me to where I'm getting overtime? Overtime. So. I don't know. He's supposed to call. I, when I texted him uh, yesterday, he's like, he's going to call me today. But I don't think he's going to call. And I'm not going to do it on anymore. I'm about to put it behind me. All right. Maybe they're not uh, making good money at that place. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I walked in there, I wasn't dressed well enough. I came straight from the other job. You know. Whatever.